Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has three scriptures. The first is the book of Isaiah, chapter 24, verses 19 through 23 in the King James Version Bible. It reads, The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the hosts of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and shall be shut up in the prison, and after many days shall they be visited. Then the moon shall be confounded, and the sun ashamed, when the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion, and in Jerusalem, and before his ancients gloriously. The second scripture is the book of Second Peter, chapter 3, verses 10 through 4. 14 in the King James Version Bible, it reads, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. The third and final scripture is the book of Revelation chapter 3 verses 10 through 12 in the King James Version Bible. It reads, <clears throat> Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. Now for the message received from the Lord God on November the 6th, 2022. A fortress, a scaffold, a strong tower, a remote village, a safe haven from destruction, half-mast, all flags must fly at half-mast, destruction from the sky, burning, searing hot, and radioactive. You must be proactive now, my beloveds. Take your vow to me seriously. I am the only one who will be able to set you free once the button is pushed. Cry out to me on your faces now. Be repentant before me, your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Can't you hear it and feel it everywhere? The cries of despair are growing louder, almost deafening. Chaos infiltrates everywhere. Once peaceful places are now overrun with violence and shouting and verbal abuse, it's no use. The leaders of all of the major countries are ready for war. Can't you feel it? 
It's nearly at your door, America. It's coming along your shores secretively. Submarines under the sea are currently stationed there. All they are waiting for is the go-ahead. These battle-weary soldiers can barely stand it. They are shaking in their shoes. It's a no-win proposition from where they reside on the inside of a metallic submarine. The walls of it are closing in on them. They don't want to be there, but they have nowhere else to be. There is no more safety or security in their own country, Mother Russia, the giant bear. Their hearts aren't in it, but their leader, President Vladimir Putin's, is. His heart is cold and black and hard as stone. His mind is fixated on winning at all costs. He doesn't care how many lives are lost. He doesn't even care about his own citizens' lives. He is desperate. He will do it if provoked. He mustn't lose. Saving face is his war cry. He will deny it, though, and blame others. His foes are responsible, not him, Vladimir Putin. He is all in, and the stakes are very high. Nuclear obliteration is the gamble. He is ready to put all of his chips in to win, all or nothing at all, literally. Be brave, my beloved children, for I am forewarning you of a foregone conclusion. An explosion of great magnitude is about to be unleashed upon the world. World War Three is at your doorstep, America. Stay wise, be ready, and prepared. Never fearful or scared. I am coming before the bombs drop to get my bride. Apologize and be contrite in your hearts. Believe I do exist. Do your part to be ready when I arrive. Ask me for forgiveness of your sins, and I will forgive you because I love you so much. Stay in touch with me by reading my holy word, the Bible. I will give you eternal life and redeem you into my kingdom on New Jerusalem. I will let you in, but you must be washed clean in the blood of the Lamb. I am coming. The day is at hand. Make yourselves ready, for I come quickly. Do not allow anyone to steal your crown. With undying love, Jesus of Nazareth. So this message speaks of nuclear war. And I'll just go over a few of the key points here. It's talking about half Half-mast, all flags must fly at half-mast, destruction from the sky, burning, searing hot and radioactive. So to me, that sounds like a nuclear bomb. You must be proactive now, my beloveds. Take your vow to me seriously. I am the only one who will be able to set you free once the button is pushed. Okay, further down, it says here, can't you hear it and feel it everywhere? The cries of despair are growing louder, almost deafening. Chaos infiltrates everywhere. Once peaceful places are now overrun with violence and shouting and verbal abuse. It's no use. The leaders of all of the major countries are ready for war. Can't you feel it? It's nearly at your door, America. It's coming along your shores secretively. Submarines under the sea are currently stationed there. All they are waiting for is the go-ahead. Further down, it talks about battle-weary soldiers. It says here, these battle-weary soldiers can barely stand it. They are shaking in their shoes. It's a no-win proposition 
proposition from where they reside on the inside of a metallic submarine. The walls of it are closing in on them. They don't want to be there, but they have nowhere else to be. There is no more safety or security in their own country, Mother Russia, the giant bear. Their hearts aren't in it, but their leader, President Vladimir Putin's, is. His heart is cold and black and hard as stone. His mind is fixated on winning at all costs. He doesn't care how many lives are lost. He doesn't even care about his own citizens' lives. He is desperate. He will do it if provoked. Further down, he is all in, and the stakes are very high. Nuclear obliteration is the gamble. He is ready to put all of his chips in to win all or nothing at all, literally. And then, your Lord and Savior Jesus speaks of an explosion. It says here, be brave, my beloved children, for I am forewarning you of a foregone conclusion. An explosion of great magnitude is about to be unleashed upon the world. World War III is at your doorstep, America. Stay wise, be ready, and prepared, never fearful or scared. I am coming before the bombs drop to get my bride. Apologize and be contrite in your hearts, Believe I do exist. Do your part to be ready. When I arrive, ask me for forgiveness of your sins, and I will forgive you because I love you so much. Stay in touch with me by reading my holy word, the Bible. I will give you eternal life and redeem you into my kingdom on New Jerusalem. So this is the message for today. It's a, a rather stark warning. Of what's about to happen. He's speaking of submarines, nuclear submarines, I believe, off the coast of America, ready upon the command of their leader, Putin. So I would be ready because it says here, stay wise, be ready, and prepared, never fearful or scared. I am coming before the bombs drop to get my bride. So I would be ready so that you are not subjected to any of the horrific atrocities of war. And may God bless you.